now to a Team 10 follow up on these bike lanes that unexpectedly popped up in Mira Mesa last month. It caught a lot of people that live on this stretch of Gold Coast Drive off guard. Investigator Melissa Masiha looked into public records that showed the process to redo it and paint it back to normal cost taxpayers tens of thousands of dollars. This was a bike advisory lane that had people saying last month. Some kind of a mess. Big change. No one was expecting it. Because of that, it was painted back to normal. City leaders, including the mayor, apologized for the lack of communication. But people were asking ABC 10 News about what this project cost, so I requested records asking the city that. My request came back, 16 pages of invoices and dollar amounts. A transportation department spokesperson says the total of the project and the fixing of it equaled more than $68,000. The transportation department said the initial project for the bike advisory lane cost nearly $18,900 to slurry the street and about $7,500 to put in the bike lane stripe. Now to redo the project, this one dated May 12th shows the re-slurry and striping of Gold Coast cost $42,301.37. We also received invoices that appear to bring the total higher. A spokesperson says those invoices may be redundant. This is what the area looked like Wednesday afternoon. Pretty quiet, the streets freshly redone. I caught up with the mayor to ask what we've learned since all this initial confusion. Moving forward, can we ensure that this lack of communication that happened with Gold Coast doesn't happen again? Well, that's our goal. Uh, that's the expect expectation I've set with city staff. They understand that I was not happy uh, with how Gold Coast played out. According to city documents, this project has been talked about since 2018 when the invitation to bid was opened up. While Mayor Gloria regrets neighbors not being informed, he does not regret the project itself. Bike lanes can be controversial. That is not a reason not to install a bike lane. Why we undid Gold Coast is that we didn't follow a process. We should have informed the community. We should have advised them of what was coming. Melissa Masiha, Team 10. And the city confirmed at this point there are no concrete plans to place advisory bike lanes anywhere in San Diego.